Hi, and good afternoon, and thank you so much for watching the video of our 1995 Isuzu NPR concession stand truck. Boys, here we have a truck that is absolutely a business, and today Dave and I are going to go ahead and give you a demonstration of what we have. I'm going to walk up close. Dave just fired it up. We're going to go ahead and tilt the cab forward and uh, let you get a good view from under the hood here. Dave's lifting it up. I'm going to give him a hand here, and we're going to go ahead and raise it up here for you in just a second here. Okay, here we go. We're going to raise the cab. And we're going to let you see a really good shot underneath to let you see this cab is not rusted out at all. You have your typical dirt and grime, but basically you've got a real clean underbody. Take note, obviously we have a rebuilt, recent replaced transmission in this truck. I'm going to pull the dipstick here for you and let you see that this thing has absolutely no blow-by. There's the dipstick removed, no blow-by. We'll let you have a look at the oil. Take a note there, you can, you can see right through the oil onto the stick. It's not dirty, filthy black. It's just good-looking diesel engine oil. Also take note of a recent alternator, and we have some signs of recent belts. And obviously just replace the radiator. You can see the new paint on the radiator. I'll give you a shot across the top because somebody has just replaced this radiator. Let's go ahead and put her down, Dave. With that, we're going to lower the cab down, latch her in place, and uh, Dave's going to go ahead and shut the truck off here so that we can hear better in the video. And since he's got the door open, I'm going to go ahead and just do the interior of the cab right away. Walking up to the driver's door panel, you can see it's all nice, not all tore up. What we have is a small tear in the driver's seat cover. The actual cushion is all there, but it needs some stitching on the actual cloth upholstery. Moving on into the passenger side, we've got excellent condition on the seats, door panels. Coming across the dash, you're looking at the refrigeration control unit there. Coming on across, we'll go through the panels. All the gauges appear to be working, and the miles there, as you can see, are at 171,936. We'll move on down to the lower part of the driver's area. Floor mat looks good. We have one small little hole right here through the rubber mat, but nothing through the floor itself. We're equipped with AC, AM, FM, and tape, and we have an automatic transmission with overdrive. And we also have a hand parking brake. With that, we'll close the door, and we're going to start around the driver's side of the stainless steel body here. And what we're going to do for you here is we want to show you today a real honest impression of this truck. What we have here is a very valuable piece. It does need some repairs. There are miscellaneous things around it that do need to be fixed in order to put it into service. But what I'm telling you here, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is an expensive body that's 90% ready to go to work, and parts are available. So as we go through this, we're going to try to do our best to point out the negatives as well as the positives here. Um, starting out, positives, of course, are stainless steel. You have no rust. And what we're going to do is move into the first concession area. And Dave's going to point in there. We have a bent shelf. Um, the second shelf down is slightly bowed. Top one is in perfect condition. With that, we'll move in close. And you can see where he's pointing at there. Again, take note, the rest of it is so nice and clean that you could comb your hair, and it is very shiny. We'll move on back to the second compartment. Obviously, you can see where we have the hand washing trays, we have the water reservoir, and then there again, Dave's going to point to where we have some shelving brackets that are not exactly in place where they're supposed to be. They could use some adjusting. Moving on over to the uh, back panel, you can see the same thing there, then we'll move on over to the other side and you'll notice in this compartment is where we have our thermostat control and AC power inverter hooked to the truck batteries. Again, this stuff needs to be checked and make sure it's ready to perform before going into service. What I'm telling you is that the expensive components are already here. With that, we'll move back to the rear panel on the driver's side. And what you're seeing here is the stove and the actual coffee maker. Dave's going to open the door of the stove. We'll get you a really nice up close. Again, all stainless steel product. Up ahead, we over the top, we have the cup holders. And then again, um, you're looking at the top of the coffee maker here for water input. And then down for the dispensers of coffee and hot water. Down low, you'll see we have the thermostat controls and the lines on the um, right side for the coffee maker everything is intact we'll move over to the other side and you'll see we're missing a line which is for the um, pilot light 
and then we have an output line for the burner. Those two are missing. I do not know why, but I'm pointing them out. The other side is intact. Thermostat's all there and uh, appears to be in very easily to get it into working condition. Uh, what we're going to do now is move down to the right rear of the body and here you have your trash bin storage compartments and then I'm going to go down lower and show you the stainless steel wheel covers and then moving forward you'll see the refillable propane tank and the hookups and the valving to control the body from there. With that we're going to go ahead and continue on around to the rear of the body. Take note we have a flawless rear bumper system very nice and clean We'll move up and give you an overview here. We have our storage compartments which are also heated and then we move over into our hot soup areas as well. Now that I've given you an overview I'm going to come back and Dave is opening the panels here. Um, we'll get you an up close. And again you're seeing the thermostat probe temperature control in this entire area. And down low again you have the rear dispenser for coffee, hot water and there's a third one which I'm not sure is what's for other than possibly decaf. Um, here we have again a temperature sending unit for the hot water that keeps the different product bins hot. And all bins are here, the lids are all on them. Again, needs a good cleaning, but it's all there. And then we have the warming shelves over the top. And this is all again facing in from the rear compartment. And there's also a safety latch you can pull and then you can cover, pull the cover down over the top of all those and um, gives you a nice area to um, put a clipboard on up here and uh, keep paperwork or whatever you're doing. But anyhow, with that, that pretty much wraps up the view in from the rear. We'll move on around to the passenger side. Dave's going to open this panel up here for us and I'm going to give you a shot in here. Now, this is where we have lots of display area for sandwiches and pre-made products. We have one, two, three, and four shelves high. Um, we've got again a write-up board here for menu. Moving down into the lower part of the body, we have all the display trays. And what we're looking at here is from rear looking forward to the front inside the passenger rear compartment. With that, we'll close that panel. We'll move on down low. He's going to show you the refrigeration unit access down here at the bottom as well. That's what you're seeing here. This is the entire refrigeration unit. With that, we're going to move up to the forward passenger side compartment. And again, you can see there we have the hot box access and we have again a heated display, clear display box on this side as well. All stainless steel and the shelving and everything is intact. And we'll give you a reverse view of the shelving that heads toward the back on the passenger side. And with that, we're going to close all the panels. And what I'm going to do for you is give you a nice walk around of the truck with all the panels down so that you can get a very good impression of what this truck looks like uh, from all perspectives here. Dave's going to get the latches down here for us. With that, I'm going to start around the passenger side and I'm going to go slow so as to let you zoom in and be able to see what you're really buying. But again, the main intent here is, is for to give you an honest representation of this truck. We do not have a lot of history on it and we do not claim to be specialists in this type of truck or servicing of it. All we're telling you is, is we've done our research, we know the values, and what you're going to get here today, folks, is a good bang for your buck. Um, this truck, if you price the body, you'll see what it costs you new. And this truck, with the diesel engine and 170,000 miles, do your homework, ladies and gentlemen. It's not high miles. They have notations for transmission issues, which, again, you've seen earlier in the video, has all been replaced. Let's move on down the driver's side of the truck body and let you get a view of that. You can notice there, behind the cab, you'll see the... Uh, cooling discharge panel is mounted there in the front of the body and then up on top you also have a hood for the heat exhaust. Let's move on down the passenger side and continue to work our way on around to the rear. Again take note of how nice and straight and shiny this body is. I mean this stainless steel is just really nice. Take note you have some missing latches like on the right rear the latch is missing that locks it. There are some components and hardware in the truck now if you move up to like the overhead lights, some of the marker lights have the covers missing. I'll zero in on that to give you an explanation. So the light in the bulb is there, but the clear lamp, the, the actual be red lamps here in the rear is missing. And there's like a, three of those across the back that are missing. 
and uh, I'll get you some up close of any other defects here. Um, the upper right rear marker light bulb and lens is missing. Um, you have a little bit of separation on the hinge on the right rear side panel. Again, opens you very nice as you just seen us do, but I want to call it out. Moving down, we have again a lens hanging out of place. Now, a lot of this stuff just requires a handyman, and you can uh, change this very quickly and easy. Let's move on around to the front. I really don't have anything to call out on the cab other than if you'll look right here above the passenger light. I'll try to do it at an angle, otherwise you won't see it. But we have the slightest of a dent right here, right above the passenger side headlights. Otherwise, the cab appears to be dent free and no glass damage. All the glass is good in the truck. And again, all the lighting on the cab appears to be very much intact and in working operation. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video. And please take note, if you have any questions, I tell you what, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to give you an up close of the manufacturer's identification number on the back so that if you want to contact this company and get any value, you can do so. But it's manufactured by uh, Mobile Food Equipment, and um, there's the information. There's a toll-free number, there's an email address, and a website. So feel free to call them if you have any questions that we haven't covered for you. And I'm sure you can get your answers, and it'll let you know the serviceability and parts availability on everything. And again, with that, I'm going to wrap up the video. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch it. And don't hesitate to give us a call if you have any questions or want a specific question answered or an area shot. We'll be happy to do that for you. Thanks again, and have a great day.